Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Rajas of India for Crusader Kings 2. So everything is determined by how this battle goes. <laughs> Our idiot ally took a river crossing penalty, but he has a slight numeric advantage. Just in case it makes a difference, we'll raise up our levy and try to rally to help him. I highly doubt that any of them will make it there in time, but... And it looks like he is winning. He did! And looks like that war was done. So Maharaja Mathan Singh won. Cool, okay, so we're gonna go here. We've stood down all of our levy, and we, I don't believe, picked up a truce. Yeah, we have a truce with our former vassal, but we don't have a, sh a truce with the, the Shah of Persia. Unlike in EU4, where your truce timer is like all parties get truces with each other, it's just the war leader versus the war leader. So we can actually declare a war right now for Molten. And the Samanid dynasty might help, but they've got this huge revolt. But the revolt is being occupied, so I'm guessing that they're losing. He is 60% in favor of him. He only has 2,200 men, though. I think we can do this. For the Holy War from Molten, we'll raise up our troops, call in all allies, anyone that's willing to accept, and we're going to just immediately move to the war goal. Okay. My steward has usurped the title of Raj from some guy. You know, you actually like me now, so... You can get off my crap list, and my wife can be off the list as well. Fulfilled marriage wish. She's a nice, nice gal. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to pick up a concubine or two. Let's see. We have a strong Shatra. I like it. Sold. Next. Any other genetic traits? That's all I really care about. Strong or like Midas touch, that kind of thing. This one's lustful. We'll take her. No. My close relative. Oh, qu quit quibbling about minor details like that. Of course he will join me in our holy war. Excellent. Call to arms. We will join. Yes, of course. We'll join all holy wars. Or all, all whatever they are wars. So we've united a lot of the Indians against the, the Muslims here, the, the Sunnis, and we're trying to fight back. They, they had expanded into this area, then Baluchistan kind of broke free, and now they were, they were separated, which makes them very, it's very hard for them to, to protect this land. And this does not take very much to siege. So much so that I'm going to risk trying to siege all three at once. Although, he's probably going to come in with his 2,000-some men. And he actually probably has more than that now. Yeah, 4,600, because he's got the defending versus infidels bonus, plus 75. So, we might want to not do what I just said and actually keep them all together. Within, you know, one province next to each other. So they can reinforce. If we see him coming, we'll retreat over the major river and just try to take this province. And in the meantime, we're hoping that our allies will come in from the south, go around these mountains, these uh, you know, impassable mountains, and maybe they'll fight him. Meanwhile, they're fighting the Pra Pratahara Revolt. There's 3,000 of the troops. Let's go ahead and get these guys out of there. 18th, 4th, yep. Yeah. We'll focus on the one province. If he comes across the major river to fight us, our 4,000 can obviously win and take him. Even if he attacks us with 3,700, we would win. Almost definitely. I have a niece who became a tough soldier. No alliances from her, so whatever. We'll forget about her. She doesn't exist. He's trying to siege Karur. 
occupations begin. One of my concubines is pregnant. Or the only concubine, rather. Your rival. Apparently I have a rival. A rival of my dynasty. Well, he's still of my dynasty, so I guess we get him married. That must have been from before when I was... Before I had this character as my own. Kind of weird. Looks like he's decided it's time to fight us. So let's quickly make sure we have good commanders on all flanks. We'll put the... The guy with the leading, inspiring leader in the center. We'll put the... Heavy infantry leader on the other side. And my half-brother. Who is okay here. Pretty close. But he is crossing a river, yes? Yep, crossing a minor river. Uh, it is plains, so that that penalty might be enough to give us an edge. I mean, besides, this guy's so good. Inspiring, I mean, leading the center plus 21%. That's huge. That's really good. Huge morale defense. Look at that morale. It's like rock solid. Yeah. No chance of losing. And we're so close to finishing this off that rather than chase that army, I wonder if we should just stick around. Yeah. We'll just keep the army together. We'll take our time. It's fine. Now, rather than cross the major river... Oh, looks like he actually wants to move in and try to take this from us, so... If that's the case, we'll just... Move away. Hey, and now there are dangerous factions. My half-brother, who has one province... Apparently has 118% of our strength because he's got my steward on his side. You're not supposed to do that because you like me. I gave you money. We improved relations. There's no reason for you to not like me. There's our legalism. That should help out with the opinion problem that we've been having. The domain too big penalty immediately goes away and causes the steward to immediately drop the faction. So apparently 30 is the new number because he, he left the faction instantly. Where are you working? You're working in Delhi. Yeah, we don't need you to do that. Why don't you go scheme on my half-brother, the one that's being a jerk? And I have a son. Looks like we're about to win our first holy war. Yay! Alright. We yeah, we'll smash his army. We don't need to occupy the whole thing to get the victory. He'll probably surrender soon. Which will be ideal. We'll also gain some some karma, I believe, for winning this war. Eighty-eight point nine nine karma. And Hindu gains moral authority. Which is pretty awesome. Not that we've been having any issue with Hindus' moral authority. It's at 89. I caught them together in our own bed. My wife and her lover. I screamed and her lover to get out and then confronted her. Who's your lover? My Upadayaha. She fell in love with the genius guy. <laughs> what? My opinion of you has got to be low. Right? Nope. I think he's pretty splendid. I, it doesn't bother me at all that he's my loyal servant who's sleeping with my wife. He's very loyal indeed. <laughs> so, what? what's going on with my wife? Angry. She's angry for catching me, apparently. And uh, I seem to not really be that upset about it. I, I swear, that event's not really complete. It doesn't feel like it resolved itself, did it? I can't be the only one that thinks that that wasn't an adequate conclusion to this tragedy. Yeah, this game is definitely running a little bit slower, in my opinion, than it used to. Not not, not a huge amount, but I mean, we're playing on speed 5 and it's not going that fast. That used to go much faster than this. 
There's the surrender. We accept. Thank you. Okay. So we'll just immediately disband. Keep the retinue. And hopefully we actually have a new room for a new retinue, do we? Damn. <laughs> this thing uses 1070 and we have 2132. We would need 2140 <laughs> to have the ability to do it. Darn it. I suppose if we build some more training grounds. That would increase our retinue cap. Need castle walls for that. I'll start working on the castle walls. Okay. Um, I think this... Yeah, we'll just give away these lands directly. To random, uh, randomly generated people. And this duchy of Molten has not been formed yet. So... Let's see. Do you want to become my vassal? Of course not, because I'm not your du jour liege. We just need to create that duchy. And then he'll do it. So first though... Wow, look at these men. That's awesome! Oh my gosh, we can steal the court gurus of other people's courts. <laughs> hey, court guru of some other guy's lands. I'm totally going to just give you territory and you're going to become... You are a Vaishnavist, though. Oh, that's the branch that you are. You're a Brahmin. Okay. So if I try to give you a castle, is that going to be okay? Interesting problem. Let's, let's just try it. I want to see if it, like, makes no sense at all. No. Okay, we can't even do it. But we could give him, like, land these guys with the random bishoprics we take. Gosh, it's such a pain now to hand out titles. As an Indian, at least. Alright, men who are not in prison, who are any marriage, who are not currently rulers. There's apparently not very many of them. I really, really hate the fact that you can't sort by their darn cast. It's just so obnoxious. Alright, we'll still create that duchy, get this guy to swear fealty to us. We still need... To, ooh, look at that, he took some land from this guy. Now do we have access to Holy War of the Safarids, maybe? We do, but it's not for a big chunk. We want to get a border against this stuff. We also want to try to kill this guy, so we have no truce timer, we can attack him again. But our likelihood's pretty low. You are Sunni. I'm assuming that you are defending against a holy war for Stravina. We're de going to declare a, a holy war for the other one. Just so we can pick up some extra karma. And one more province. We could call our allies, but we, we don't really need to do that. Shamshir just died. That's sad. We have a 40, negative 47 opinion guy who's possessed. A possessed sci Yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Yes, we'll join your wars. So we'll let this guy here siege that county, but we're going to siege this one. So we'll pick up, just, you know, eat this thing up. And I have a kinsman named Shamshir, of all things. To create Molten, we just need 173 ducats. Unfortunately, he did put some troops there, so now that is happening. Which means he might occupy both, and we have to wait for him to be done. My steward doesn't like us quite enough anymore, so they are in the faction again. Looks like our gift is still there. 
He's still our court poet. He's just upset about raised levies. So anything else I can do that will make you happy? Do I have any kids that you can educate? Nope. I'd really hate to, to have to deal with this lower crown law faction right now. That would be a real shame. Let's try to... Um, okay, so your, your duchy's here. Please improve relations with him. Please don't fire that faction. Okay. Well, I guess we go deal with that. <laughs> okay. Conquest of Gandahara. It's a host invasion. Awesome. How come I didn't have a notice that there was a, a host incoming? I could have sworn that I remember reading that there was a, a thing to let you know when host invasions are on their way. I have no disabled alerts. I have no idea where this host invasion just came from. You, sir, have... How many men? 33,000. Seems... Legit. He is like a complete god of a character. And has raised a host of 33,000. And you want what? That whole thing. Okay. Well, fortunately, we only have one province there. So, if we were to... So, it takes all occupied territory, takes or vassalizes all titles held in the Raj of Gandhara. Wow, that's obnoxious as hell. Okay. Bye. Rise of the Ghaznavids. A former Turkish mercenary and slave soldier is on the rise in the lands of the Afghans. Yeah. Are you, what, is it this guy? All right, those events had to go hand in hand with each other, right? He's still got 35,000 troops. He just stole my thing. Yep. Yeah, we're not messing with that. That's stupid. That's just retarded. That is just downright silly. Oh, you know who can educate my nephew? What about my steward? Perhaps not. Something caused this guy to not like us nearly as much. He was at like plus 30. Did the gift... No, the gift's still there. What the hell happened to you, man? Ugh. Stressful. It really is. Alright, please win your war so we can win our war. Let's go. I have no idea what we're going to do about our next door neighbor who happens to have 20,000 troops. Or 60, 30, whatever the hell it is. 70,000 now. Why do you have 70,000 troops? No one over here can hold that many. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. I hate event spawn troops so much. So now, just out of nowhere, this just this guy, this random Persian Sunni of the Ghaznavid, I guess he's a, is it former, yeah, this is the one, the former mercenary company. I guess they have to carve out some land somewhere, but it's just like, come on. Yes, get out of the faction, we'll obligate him. A renewed jihad. Steward dislikes me, but he will leave the faction. Good. Come on now. There we go. 
So we just ended up occupying that. Let's go ahead and assault this. Ugh. Taking some pretty heavy losses, but... I don't want to spend a lot of time in this holy war, because if those other guys get called in, we're going to be in trouble. So now we have a new neighbor. <laughs> oh god. He's so bad. He's just it's so not fair. It's just not right. <laughs> Nandana. And you know he's going to want to attack us again in five years when he loses his truce timer. I hope that he attacks the Shahi. Or, even better, what if we create that kingdom and <laughs> we just offer to vassalize him? Somehow. If he, he won't accept because he thinks we're an infidel, but that would be funny. Before we do that, we're going to create the duchy. Um, now we're going to offer vassalization to you. You won't accept because we have a foreign culture. Fine, we'll declare the du jour claim war. We'll quickly take care of this. Oh, wow, he's 1,600 troops. Didn't really expect that. But we'll, you know, get this this extra province underneath our control. It would be nice. Thank you for leaving your castle unguarded. Appreciate that. You know, mm, I wonder how many men will lose to siege events. We can siege faster than he can, so we'll just siege him down. It is rumored that a great warrior from the distant east is currently passing through Molten. He is said to have taken part in hundreds in a hundred battles or more and his legendary fighting skills are supposedly without peer that is our improved martial ability thing I guess the only thing we can really do to try to wow plus 22 now the only thing we can try to do to fight against this guy is just continue to upgrade stuff Look at that he can't even siege through Karur We have five years of truce. If he decides to come take, um... 70% chance and we didn't get it. Damn it. <laughs> this game hates me. Gives me the worst neighbor possible, and then it won't even let me be diligent. What if we kill you? What if we kill your heir? What, does everyone in your damn court have, like, 50,000 martial score? God damn. And he's paranoid, so it'd be, like, darn near impossible to kill him anyway. Let's, uh, get a barracks, I guess. No, no, the militia training ground. That's good. More troops. Just more men. We can't raise nearly as many troops as my father could. Because we still have that negative modifier here. Our martial score is so bad. I think our father was, like, 17. We're at 4, because we became a flamboyant schemer, of all things. Right now our heir is our son. We just have the one. He's an acceptable boy. Quite a few prisoners. Alright. Well, we'll take the money that we can. We don't really have too many known plots. There's now a jihad for Armenia. So the Muslims are rallying now into the kingdom of Armenia. Armenia. They're trying to take basically a third of the Byzantine Empire. And my guess is they're going to win. Because the, uh, these guys will probably go help them because they're a bunch of bastards. A bunch of Sunni bastards. What? This is who now? You have declared war on me? Wait a minute. Am I seeing this right? 
you have 2,000 men. I don't understand why you've declared war. I have troops right here. When you lose, you're going to have to give me money. Unless you're expecting to call in allies. This guy doesn't have any men. That's a very dumb move by the AI. I mean, these, these armies around here are huge. We're just going to show up and fight him in the mountains and just, just crush him and make him surrender. I don't understand why he's just volunteering to give us money. You should invest in technology. We'll take military organization, as always. Hey, we can get more elephants! Yeah! We can get almost three. Let's get another one. That's obviously the only type of troop we're going to make. Only retinue. Oh, ran in the wrong direction. Trying to find a good spot to take a break, because there's just a lot going on. Please don't try to run down my elephants. Thank you. My elephants are so awesome, they can beat you by themselves. So you're obviously, I mean, there's just nothing you can do. You, there's no way in hell you're going to win this war. I don't, I don't, it just doesn't make any sense. If you want to surrender... Look at that, we gained 200 karma. And we actually have 500 now, so we can declare our next subjugation war. We'll siege his vassal instead of him. That way he still has to pay us full value, full price. And we will try to continue to build up, like, castle walls and stuff here, so we can build more war elephant pens. Because they're so amazing. 32 of them right now. Good, good. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.